Well, now let's go live again to Lindsay in Geneva. And Lindsay, hard though it is, let's turn to the talks because the outlook does look pretty bleak. Uh, is there any chance of compromise? Well, I don't think that either of the sides have come here in a spirit of compromise, but then that's normal at the beginning of peace talks. But when you listen to such a painful interview like that and you think about this new evidence, what that evidence is saying is it chronicles 11,000 deaths like that. That's 11,000 mothers like that. And there are many more besides. Now, the Syrian government, it says that there's no proof that those photographs were taken inside Syria. Well the legal experts say that there, that there is. And the Syrian government seems to be feeling in a strong position. They say that the regime and Assad himself, that himself, the foreign minister said that's a red line which can't be touched. In other words, they're going to stay come what may. And the opposition, well, who does the opposition really represent? Because the opposition who are coming here, they had their arms twisted by the Americans. And the opposition on the ground, the rebel fighters, both the more secular ones and the more extreme Islamists, they're not here, they're not represented. So it's very hard to see that these talks can get very far. I think that the only thing that you can say is that a process has to start somewhere. This is where it starts, but it may be many, many years before it really proceeds anywhere which could lead to compromise, let alone peace. And yet at the same time, of course, the conflict is spilling over many of the borders, Iraq particularly, but uh, uh, Lebanon too, and, and Turkey. I mean, you know, there's much more in play than, than only Syria, amazingly. And that's why the diplomats, international diplomats, feel that this, these talks are essential. Even today, there was a bomb which went off in one of the southern suburbs of Beirut. Those are the suburbs which are controlled by Hezbollah. Hezbollah is the militia which is fighting in Syria on behalf of the government. Who claimed to have um, carried out that bombing? It was al-Nusra, that's a Syrian jihadi extremist group. So there you have the evidence of the Syrian war spilling over into Lebanon. And yes, you've got in uh, Iraq as well, the jihadis are operating on both sides of the border. This isn't just a crisis in Syria, it's across the region. Lindsay Hilsom in Montreux, Krishnan.